cattle holdings because you see as you start running the companies you realize that uh, one company alone won't be able to uh, complement itself so you need to complement uh, you need other companies so we had uh, to cut to civils we had to have the holding company which is cut holding that is holding cut to civils under cut to civils we've got cut to material and the cut to equipment so we now have equipment so instead of hiring we don't hire we we have our own equipment in the company so it's very rare that we are we hire we do but very very let's say two percent of the time but generally all equipment is owned by cattle equipment under cattle civils and cattle civils under cattle holdings from 1994 i saw at LTE. Big companies being, we would design and the client will award the construction to be done by one of the big com uh, construction companies you know in South Africa. Uh, we would know they are supposed to finish in 12 months, but they'll take three years. In some cases when they're supposed to, to, to take two years, they'll take six years. And there would be no good reason for them uh, to delay the construction of this infra of this infrastructure. So I then thought if I were the one, I would actually do it much better. So when the opportunity came for me to buy Cato Civils, which was a grade six CIDB, to bring it up to grade nine, um, that's what we've gone to do, to bring a construction either on time or before time. So if we are awarded a contract for 18 months, our vision, our uh, aim is to do it in 12 months, but very, very good quality and on time and cut out wasting of time. To this end, we've done very well. There's no project that were to take 12 months and we took 12 months. Any project that we were supposed to take 12 months, we've done it six to seven months, we are done and we are out. And that's what has brought Kato to the prominence that it is. We have prof uh, profitability, uh, clients are uh, happy to have the project done quicker and repeat appointments galore. So that indeed is the ethos that to say we want to give a service to a client faster, uh, quantitatively and qualitatively. We have known that in some projects, our profit is not going to be money. Our profit will be the equipment we will buy coming out of that project. So when we look at profitability, we don't look at profitability in terms of cash only, capital uh, cash as profit, no. So if our, project, our profit in a project was supposed to be 10, 15, 20 million, we can buy equipment through that and we know when we finish, we don't have any more cents, but we have the equipment. So this is, this is what we've done in more than 20 projects. For that reason, I think our capitalization of projects are over 2 billion times. So we're very proud of having a, 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 had the discipline uh, to get to that kind of uh, uh, equipment that we have. Uh, it's really uh, something to be proud of, uh, but it requires a lot of discipline. The future is, 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 is good. Uh, you know, uh, it's a very competitive industry. There are quite a lot of hurdles thrown at us in front. Um, you have jealousy. You have um, people who just create stories from nowhere. Now, but we are resolved. Uh, as long as I'm here, we'll do our best to make sure that people remain employed we remain in business and we remain doing the right things to improve the lives of uh, the people of Africa generally uh, because uh, when you go to the rural South Africa, I don't see any difference in the rural Malawi. I don't see any difference in the rural Zimbabwe or rural Botswana. It's the same. So we believe that, uh, I believe particularly that uh, we have a duty to bring levels of infrastructure that are better and make people live lives in the rural areas better 
than they have. That we don't all have to be in the cities. That you can still stay in the rural areas, but you're having clean water, you have access to good roads, you have access to uh, broadband. You know, uh, these are the things we do. Uh, so I believe that Kato has a future because as long as Africa is undeveloped, surely Kato will be part of the development.